हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली यू कैन यूज शीट जेएस इनसाइड योर एचटीएमएल एप्लीकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू रीड द कंटेंट ऑफ ए एक्सेल फाइल लेट मी शो यू दिस एप्लीकेशन व्हाट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग हियर यू विल सी देयर विल बी अ चूज फाइल बटन एंड इफ यू क्लिक दिस बटन यू विल बी एबल टू सेलेक्ट योर एक्सेल फाइल एंड देन all the content of the excel file will be displayed inside a simple html5 table we are using some bootstrap for styling this table here out there you can see these are the records out there inside this excel file we can also cross verify if i open this file inside our microsoft excel you will see the records out there this is these are the records you will see john john matthew hopkins these are the names out there so instead of using microsoft excel for opening the excel files we are displaying the content inside the html table itself you can even change this to user dot xls you can see that basically it's a excel file you can see this is employees dot excel so we will be using sheet js sheet js as you all know it's a very good library in order to work with excel files so this is the library we will be using here and uh, it has its own website official website you can read the documentation basically you can read edit export spreadsheets inside web browsers using javascript and node js we will be looking at an example how we can read the content and display it inside your html5 table so for this application i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website in the description of this video you can check out this blog post and copy paste all the source code alongside with watching this video so now let's get started so the very first step you need to do you need to go to the blog post and simply copy paste this base code out there just make an index.html file and here we are including the cdn of the library guys which is the sheet.js cdn you will see that you will need you need to include this cdn and then we are also including the bootstrap cdn for displaying the content of the excel file inside a nice little table of bootstrap so just include that and after that guys we have a simple input type file where we are given the id to it of file input here we are only accepting the excel files you will see we are only accepting the excel files extensions then we are displaying all the content of the file inside a nice little table out there we have given the table classes to it of bootstrap such as table table bordered now if i open this you will now see a choose file button out there here we can only can select excel files out there so now what we need to do we need to write now the javascript code which is required for this application so we will simply now include this script.js file so now we just need to make the script.js file in the root directory so inside this file guys we will now need to load the first of all the references to the file input element so we have given the reference to it we can get using get element by id so we have given the id of file input and then we will be getting the reference to the table element so document dot get element by id so we have given the id to the table such as uh, table if you cross verify you will see that we have given the id to the table and file input right here so we are just uh, selecting it by their ids after this we need to simply add a event listener out there which is for the change so whenever the file is changed out there this event will automatically fire this callback function and inside this callback function we just need to get the content of the selected excel file so we will get access to that so file input dot files zero so this will get access to the selected file now after this we just need to make a simple file reader object file reader object here and here when whenever it loads this will this event will automatically fire here which is on load event and here we will simply first of all make the inner html of the table to nothing and uh, first of all this we just need to read this so we, we will call this method called as read as array buffer and here we will pass the actual file so after whenever you execute this line this event will automatically execute because this is a on load event 
so inside this event we will get the data so here we will construct the data here which is event.target.result like this and here we will first of all get the workbook we can use this uh, sheet.js this method contains a read method out there and inside this we will pass the data and then we will pass the second parameter to be type here and this can be equal to array type is equal to array array buffer and now we will get access to the sheet as well first sheet name so we will use workbook dot sheet names zero like this so we will get access to all the sheets which are there inside the excel file now we just need to get access to the current worksheet we can get access to it using workbook dot sheets and then inside square brackets we will just pass the sheet name which is first sheet name like this now we have got access to the current sheet name guys so now we need to get access to the rows of the data so how many rows are there so we can get access to it using xls utils dot sheet underscore two underscore json so we will now convert the data to the json object using this method we will pass the worksheet like this and that's all guys after that you will get your rows of data and now we can use a simple loop out there const row of rows and inside this we will just make a simple table row tag we will create that element and uh, after this we will again use a inner loop here const key of const key in row and inside this we will make a td tag here document dot create element and we will create a table data tag out there and inside this we will initialize or we will manipulate the inner html of the table data we will make use of row key here we will append this to the table row we will use make use of append child right here and lastly we just need to add this to the table so we will make use of again append child and add to the table like this that's all this is all the html code and javascript code if you now refresh choose you uh, F, uh, just choose a excel file out there you will see now the result is displayed in a nice little bootstrap table out there you can change the excel file let's suppose i change to employees you can see that so in this easy way guys you can use this uh, sheet js library inside the browser using javascript in order to load the content of any excel file and display the result in a nice little table all the source code is given in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next one